What's up, everybody? Shlama Lochon. My name is Canon Miko, aka Ocean Crash, and welcome to Before We Work. Get your cups, lift them in the air. Mm. Coffee or tea, whatever it is, baby. You know I love it. You know I love caffeine. And today we're going to talk about five tips that can help you with your ketogenic diet. That's right, folks. We're talking keto today. You know I love it. You actually don't because my first video on it, but it's okay. We talking keto today, baby. Yeah. So a little bit about me and keto. Um, I've done keto before a couple times. Uh, I did keto for one year when I was in college. I loved it. I lost about 25 pounds. It was great. Um, I just recently did keto. I just, I got off it for a little bit, but I'm going to go back on it soon. Um, yeah, so keto. Keto is awesome. Um, I love ketogenic diet. I think it's one of the most beneficial diets in the world simply because I'm a believer that um, us as human beings, we over consume carbohydrates. Um, and yeah, so let's get let's get it started, fam. Let's get it started. So five tips to making your ketogenic diet a lot more easier. We're going to start off with number one. It's a diet. It's not a diet. Okay, I want people to say call call these diets a diet. It should not be a diet. It should be a lifestyle. You can't think about it. It is a diet, but you can't think about it as a diet. You have to think about it as a lifestyle. It's a change of lifestyle. When someone says they're going vegan, they're like they're not like, yeah, I'm gonna go vegan. I'll eat meat like on Thursdays, but then I'm. <laughs> it's not like that. So you know when they go vegan, their life changes. They become fully vegan. They don't eat meat. They change the way they live. The same way you gotta do it with ketogenic diet, it's a lifestyle. You gotta live the life of keto. You gotta, you know, get your pantry ready, get your, you know, check your finances. Maybe if you wanna spend more money, you know, cause that's what you do, you spend more money on food, budget it out. Be like, can I afford to go, you know, can I afford to buy food that's ketogenic? I think it's easy to do it on a budget. There's a bunch of budget videos on YouTube about it. So I don't think it's hard to do ketogenic on a diet, but or on a budget, but it's a lifestyle, it's not a diet. You gotta live the life of a ketogenic person. It's different. It's a very different diet. It's hard for people to grasp in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, it's a hard it's a hard beginning. You know, you gotta cut your breads, your rice, your you know, your sugars all out of your diet. And it takes time. Some people just drop it all like I do. Some people slowly decrease their carbs. You know, first they say, I'm gonna cut out bread this week, then rice this week, then sugars this week and you know, they ease into it, but you got to have it as a lifestyle. It can't be a diet. So that's number one. Number two is you have to have strong willpower. And I think that's not just with keto diet. That's with any diet. You got to be able to say, you know what? I can do this. If I see that delicious chocolate filled donut, mm, you can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have it. You got to have strong willpower. You got to be like, you know what? I'm on a diet, fam. I cannot have this donut. I cannot have it. I cannot have any of this. So that's another thing I feel like a lot of people who are on a diet fail to to have is a strong willpower. And it's hard. It takes practice. It takes toning of the soul, you know, to be to develop that resistance towards things you love. I love donuts. I, I'm trying to open up a coffee shop. I love donuts, you know, donuts and coffee. Can't have it. Can't have it. Uh, now, the only good thing about it, um, and this kind of brings into step number three, number three is you have to throw away your junk food. Sorry, you can't, you can't go on keto diet and then have three boxes of chocolate chip cookies in your, in your, in your, in your, in your what's it called, pantry. You're going to eat them, you know, especially in the beginning. You're, gonna, you're more inclined to go to that closet when you're pissed off or when you're hungry. I, to me, it's when I'm hungry because... I can't just eat whatever's being made at my house because, you know, our pe my, my family cook a lot of carb-heavy foods, a lot of rice, okay? So, I, I can't have cookies in my house. Can't have no donuts, no ice cream, no pizza. Unless you make a keto version of any of those, you can't have it. So, kind of step number two and number three, tips number two and number three. Find, find, find routes to take that allow you to kind of optimize your diet towards, you know, your keto diet. There are a lot of recipes out there that you can look up that give you keto alternatives of foods that you love. Orange chicken. You can make orange chicken. You can't use the fillers and carbohydrates that they use at Panda Express. <laughs> but you can make your chicken use almond flour instead of, you know, 
panko or instead of um, just regular flour. Um, you, you can, there are other alternatives. You can use coconut flour. It's, those are the two great alternatives for any breaded food. You know, Pizza, use cauliflower for the crust or use almond flour for the crust. So it also kind of re- branches down to tip number four. Number four is do your research. Do your research. All right. Uh, research is like you can't go into the keto diet without knowing what carbs are, without knowing what is and isn't a carb, uh, without, you know, knowing recipes. You have to do your research. You can't just do things based off of someone who posted a video on YouTube and be like, that's it. I'm doing it. You know, one one and done. I saw one video of this guy's talking about it. And you, next thing you know, you're like, I'm, I'm on keto and you're eating pasta. And so that's not how it works. You got to do your research. And it's only it only makes things a lot more easier for you. I'm telling you, you do your research, you throw away your junk food, you know, you, you get that, you know, build up that willpower, make it a lifestyle It only make things a lot more easier for you. It'll make keto a breeze. I'm telling you, you master those four, you'll be easy peasy. And then last but not least, it's kind of more towards helping you obtain the benefits of keto. So keto itself is more, it's more so optimizing your the way your body works instead of, you know, making it a, making it something where you have to kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, it's not like a one and done type of thing. It's a, it's, it's something that changes your body, you know, as a whole. You know, it's not what you're putting into your body. It, you're changing the way your body operates. So when you're on a diet, you know, uh, you're, you're, you know, when you're eating, for example, you want to eat, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something, some other diet, a no sugar diet. Okay, no sugar diet. You're still eating carbs. You know, you're eating that rice, that brown rice, which is healthy for you. You know, you're still eating all of those other alternatives. But what makes keto particularly special is you're, you're, you're changing the chemistry inside your body. You're, you're, you're putting your body in a keto, ketogenic state. You're putting it in ketosis. You're telling your body, you know, hey, we're not consuming any more carbs or slim to little carbs. You know, we got to start burning this fat as a source of energy, you know, and you have to learn, you have to teach yourself, you know, how can I ensure that this fat is being burned properly? And this brings me to my last tip, tip number five, working out while on keto is not required, but it makes things a lot more easier. Working out while on keto is phenomenal. Think about it. When you're working out, you're burning fat. When you're on keto, your body burns fat as a source of energy. It's like it, they go, they, they just mesh so well together. Only tip I can give you is when you're working out while on keto, you got to eat a lot of protein. I know everyone has their own required amount of protein when they're working out or when they're just on keto. Mine is a lot higher than everyone else's. If I don't eat a lot of protein or a lot of fat heavy foods, I cramp. I cramp when I'm not in keto. You know, I just cramp in general unless I have a decent amount of protein. When I'm on keto, I have to have more protein to give my body that protein, to give my muscles that fat that they love, you know, that fresh fat. And, you know, just like giving fuel to my body to burn while I'm in keto, while I'm in working, while I'm working out. And I'll be honest with you. It's such a great feeling to be on keto, especially because it's kind of, it, it teases you. Keto teases you. When you get on keto, you know, within within two weeks, three weeks, you'll you'll drop all your water weight. Some people, that's five pounds. Some people, that's 15 pounds, you know. You'll lose the water weight, and, and it feels good. You're going to be like, oh, man, I lost five pounds. Woo, I lost five pounds. It, it teases you, and it feels good. I'm not going to lie. It feels really good to just lose that water weight. And then you're like, I like this. I'm going to keep doing this, <laughs> you know, and then you'll slowly plateau. There's a point where you'll plateau and then I'll start, slowly start, you know, you'll lose, start losing weight again, you know. So working out only makes your life easier. So those are my five tips, guys. Number one, it's a lifestyle. Number two, strong willpower. Number three, throw away that junk food. Nobody wants that junk food. Number four, do your research. And number five, work out, y'all. It makes life so much easier. It's healthier for you. You know, clear up the arteries, go do some cardio. You don't like cardio, go lift some weights, go do some squats, some squatter squats, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Before We Work. I'm going to hop into some work. I actually got a phone call soon that I don't want to do, but enjoy my coffee. I'm going to have a great day, y'all.
You guys have a wonderful day too. Thank you so much for watching Before We Work with me, Ken, and Miko, aka Ocean Grash. Peace. I'm out.